Hey folks, it's about 60 degrees at about 1.30 on the 6th of April, and I thought I'd share what's actually coming up in the garden. It doesn't look like much yet, but if you take a close look, things are coming up. Over here, these little yellow flowers, those are not dandelions. Those are the flowers that come up before the colt's foot leaves come up. So that's looking good. And uh, I ended up having to get a, a net, chicken net, to keep my chickens out of my colt's foot. Because I do want my colt's foot to come up this year. And we also have a little bit of uh, growth here. This is one of my crazy patches of, um, I'll think of the name of it. I'll put it on the video. It's a good herb for uh, teas. Eventually, something should be coming up here. I don't know. If I dig underneath, there might actually be something. No, not yet. But that's where my comfrey grows. And we'll go over to see what's coming up over here. Pardon the stuffy nose, but spring brings sniffles. Oh, there's another colt's foot. I have a whole patch of colt's foot that comes up through here. And I only had noticed the other day that <coughs> some things were coming up when I started to uh, break some of the stems down from things. So here we have what I think is evening primrose. The purple. Right there. There's quite a few little ones popping up. And more colt's foot. Pretty much everywhere is colt's foot. Some more eating primno bros. And some more of the herb I can't think of right now. There we have we have Valerian coming up. I work my way around it. Around to it. These are Valerian. Right here. Everything I'm showing you is perennials. I have not planted a thing. This is just stuff that comes up every year. So there's lots of Valerian. Lots of Valerian coming up. Like this. So this one will be coming up over here. I just broke uh, all the old stems up off. But I don't see the actual... I'm sorry, globe thistle hasn't come up yet. There's some sink foil. That's usually pretty early. Pretty much a weed. But it is useful. Right here, sink foil. And then there's um, some flowers that come up. I think some of them are daisies. Not really sure when they come up. Then I'll know. There's so much that grows in this garden, I can't even walk through when it's uh, in full bloom. Let's see what else we can find. Weeds like crazy, of course. Ah, uh, this here. I think that's a weed, but it may be... Maybe the lady's bed straw. So this is where it was planted. And it grows all along this fence. Let's see, and I know there was some more coming up over here. Uh, I get oriented. Everything looks different because my chickens kind of took over in the fall. Alright, this is where my marshmallow plants live. And right now, I don't think they've actually started. The growth I see is, is weeds. There's something over here. Oh, it's a type of sedum. Yep, that's getting ready to pop. Well, here we have motherwort. That's actually doing really well already. And I have another motherwort plant someplace. Somewhere around. Yeah, I'm just kind of 
searching for some green and some other colors. This is garlic I planted in the fall. Now, I've never grown garlic. Um, what growth is here, I think, is what grew in the fall. And I'm going to have to look up what I'm supposed to do. I had read somewhere that you're supposed to cut the first leaves and then uh, let the garlic bulbs grow during the spring. So got to do some research there. Over here we have uh, some yarrow. There's some yarrow leaves. I have it in a couple other spots too. This is this spot is uh, doing really well. I think it's, yeah, that's the yarrow. Because I also have chamomile that grows in this garden. Maybe it's chamomile. The leaves look very similar in the beginning. I have chamomile and yarrow growing here, so it's probably a mix of both. It just goes to show you. It might look like nothing's coming up yet, but it sure is. It sure is. That sun is so nice and strong. Feels so good. It's 60, but that sun feels great. I'm going to pause and take a look around and see if I can find anything else to share with you. And there's another motherwort, a small plant. And this here is a sea rose. Very, very sharp, but you can see the buds on the sea rose. It's still got some uh, remnants of the rose hip that was on it. And these little purple flowers. They have, uh, they're a little dirty, I guess, because they got rained on, probably. They have uh, green leaves with lighter green spots, which kind of get white. That's a lungwort. Another good, uh, another good herb. I remembered the name. Did me well. It's mugwort. It's mugwort. And it, it grows like crazy. I have an overabundance of mugwort <laughs> all through here. But uh, that's okay. It's a good herb, too. So that's just a quick share of a very early spring garden and uh, what comes up early and before too long I hope I'll be able to share the ouch the leaves <laughs> yeah if I don't kill myself the leaves ah there's a leaf there's a little leaf tiny little leaf right there coming up with the uh, colt's foot like I said, the flowers come up first, and then the uh, leaves come up. Uh, very few plants do that. Here's a close-up of the stem, and you can see the difference between a dandelion stem on the flower. Let me zoom back out a little bit. A dandelion stem versus the uh, colt's foot stem on the flower. It's really pretty to see, though. Nice to know they're not dandelions. And everything's enjoying the sunshine out here, not just the plants, but the chickies. <laughs> there they go. Taking a dirt bath. Huh, you're taking a dirt bath down there. I see you. Making a little hole. Rolling around in the dirt. This is why the birds had to be gated off. This whole area. Last year was uh, mint and oh, um, goat's neck, goat's neck, goose neck, loose strife. And I really wanted it out of here. Very hard to get rid of though because it has uh, little trailing roots. And uh, I think the chickens may take care of that for me, may take care of the mint and uh, loose strife problem. Maybe, we'll see. 
There's some green coming up here. Oh, this is tansy. It looks a lot like, uh, well, not a lot. It looks a bit like the valerian, but it's not. I gotta get in here and get all these sticks out. But that's a, it's a pretty large tansy bush. And here comes Chicky Chick. Hi, Chicky Chick. Enjoying the sunshine, Chick Chick? Huh? <laughs> well, that's my very early spring. Well, it isn't officially spring, is it? Yeah, it is. It's officially spring. Didn't feel like it. Well, it's just starting to feel like it. Share. Hope you all enjoyed. There's my rocky rooster. They're finding the bugs. That's good. Hey, baby girl. Coming to see if Mama has any bread for you? No, I don't. Hey, folks. Hope you enjoyed.